So yeah, finally, 2K21 has dropped, and it's a jump shot video, so you already know what time it is. Leave a like on this video within the next five seconds, or never get a green again. It's that simple. I would not risk it. All right, before we go too far into this video, I want to make sure to go over this. Now, we were at 4.2%. We're all the way up to 9.7%. But still, 90% of y'all that are watching my videos aren't even subscribed. I know y'all mess with the videos. We finna be going so crazy, so you might as well hit that sub button. It's that simple. All right, so yeah, man, we got another giveaway on the channel. It's part two. But you know what time it is, it's Banger Week. We ain't had Banger Week in forever. So, for this week's Banger Week, is gonna be pretty much the first week of 2K21. And pretty much for the Banger Week, it's gonna be giving away a regular edition of NBA 2K21. So, literally all you gotta do to enter this giveaway is just be following me on Twitter, like and retweet the post, reply to the tweet, showing proof that you are subscribed with notice, and you're entered into the giveaway. And this is for people that don't that have 2K and don't have 2K. If you have 2K, I'm gonna just give you a $60 code. You can use that for VC, whatever you wanna use it. You can even buy a different game with that. I'm gonna give you a code for whatever console you're on. But for the people that don't have 2K, I'm gonna just give you 2K. It's that simple. But yeah, man, this is gonna be ending in a week. I'm gonna be doing another giveaway after this one. And then, yeah, that's gonna be it for the year. I got digital dash, came right with a up. I walk in the store and I buy the stock. I hide in the bins and pull out the lot. Got to the diamond, it cost me a lot. They flying like birds, but drop on this hot. 400 degrees, I burned out the block. Burn out, make one call, they turn out. See, see the gang, get the word out. When the shit getting hot, you the first out. Cover my wrist with a watch and I flood it with rocks. Now I look at the time all day. Be high, I ride your block and I drop off the top and I know you can see my face. You my dog at the end, don't care what the bitch is. Yo, 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 Pierre, you wanna come out here? <laughs> yo, what's up, the YouTube? It's your boy Fizz back in the video with yet another video today. I'm coming at you guys with the first video of NBA 2K21. I'm giving you guys the best jump shot, which is a custom. I'm gonna give you guys the quick stop tutorial, which I usually don't do dribble tutorials. I'm giving you guys the best shooting badges and the best shooting tips all in one video. Even give you guys the best shooting settings for NBA 2K21. Now, with that being said, we started off with a bang. We going with a banger week for the first week. We're going to be doing two weeks of banger week. So if you guys ready for the videos that's going to be coming out, just stay tuned. It's only the beginning. Just stay tuned. But today, like I said, we're going to be giving you guys a custom jump shot, a quick, a quick stop tutorial, best shooting badges to use, also giving you guys the best shooting tips so that you can be able to shoot the most big greens, make all your shots, stuff like that. So yeah, man, without further ado, let's go ahead, hop straight into it. Let's go! All right, so first things first, when it comes to the best tips for you, you gotta really have the best settings. Now with the best settings, you gotta understand. I'm, a, I'm not gonna really waste too much time on this, but what I would tell everybody that's watching this video, the, this is the first day that the game is out. So pretty much what you need to be worrying about is getting your badges, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people, they not be able to shoot. I seen Tysino trying to shoot. He went going crazy a couple games, but some games he was a little rough because he's trying to get badges. If you go to the park with your badges first, because that's what the problem was last year. A lot of people are going to be complaining about the shooting being so hard because they don't want to grind their badges. They just want to go to the park. So what I'm going to just tell people to do, literally get your badges and then see what's to the park. It's that simple. But if you, when it comes to the best settings, this is where it gets important this year. For me, shot aiming, I took it off because I can't do it. I can't do it. But if you like that, shot aiming is going to be overpowered. If you're like that with it, it's going to be overpowered. So I would put that on. That's going to get you the biggest boost to your shooting. But I'm going to go with the no shot meter. The no shot meter is going to give you a boost again this year. It's just not going to be as big as the shot aiming. But when it came to the shot meter this year, you only have three options. On, off. You can't even go back to the old meter. So if you don't like the meter from this year, you have to go off or free throw only. And I put it on free throw only because when I shoot my free throws, I do need meter. It's that simple. Then when it came to shot timing, you can change that a lot of different ways. You can put it to shots only. You can put it all to real time player percentage, which is going to be like every single time you're wide open, you can miss those wide open even if you're timing it perfectly. That's going to be really just basing off of real player percentage. It's going to be making you make it at a pretty much like a realistic percentage. Then you can go pretty much 
just shots where like the layups is going to be on a real player percentage or you can go shots and layups so yeah that's really up to you again then when it came to the free throw free throw aiming that's not really as important but they do it kind of like that again i took the aiming off on that also that's just me being honest i don't really like the aiming that much so i took that off then when it came to the shot feedback if you want to be able to get the shot feedback for every single person so like pretty much if you want to see people getting greens what's the contest on their shots and stuff like that even if you're not contesting them you can put that on also all right next is going to be the best shooting badges in the game best shooting badge is going to be kind of the same but it's going to be more badges that's going to be way more balanced because they did a really good job of balancing builds and badges so first badges we're going to talk about is the big three Range extender, high zone hunter, and green machine. Those are still gonna be the best three shooting badges in the game. Range extender is gonna help you shoot within your range. High zone hunter is gonna help you make more shots, especially with hot zones. And then green machine is gonna help you green more consistently. But we got two or three other badges that's gonna be very good in this game too. Dead eye is gonna be very important with the contest system being very broken. Dead eye is gonna make that that much more broken. The, the contest system in this game is a little iffy. I don't know if it's because people don't have badges or what, but even when I'm playing like with like in my career, I'm looking at the CPUs trying to contest me or people trying to contest other people in my career. It seems like the contest system is a little bit iffy. They might need to do something with the contest system, buff it a little bit, especially on perimeter. Now, interior, it's good, but perimeter, it might be a little iffy. Then when it came to Tyler's Shooter, that's going to be a very important badge this year because the fatigue issue is a big deal in this game. I'm just going to tell you that right now. Like, fatigue is going to be a big problem in this game, so you're going to really want to have to put some badge points to Tyler's Shooter, whether it be Bronze, Silver, Gold, or Hall of Fame. It's up to you. Then we got Difficult Shots. This is a badge that got buffed. So, like, when it came to, like, the shooting, if you really don't know what you're doing with the Quick Stop, it's going to make you do off the dribble shots now. But I'm going to go over that next. But Difficult Shots is a very, very good badge this year. I feel like they buffed the mess out of Difficult Shots when it came to, like, all different types of Difficult Shots. Whether you're doing hop, step jumpers, whether you're doing spin jumpers, or just doing dribble pull-ups and fades. So, yeah, I feel like Difficult Shots got a buff this year. And I feel like these are the six badges you cannot go wrong with when it comes to the shooting badges. All right, next is the Quick Stop. So, to be able to do the Quick Stop. What people are going to be trying to do, they're going to try to do like hezzies and stuff with the analog stick to do quick stops. So if you're trying to do that, it's going to make you do animations like these that I'm going to be showing on the screen while I'm saying this right now. But if you want to be able to do the quick stop at a high rate, at a high level, what you're going to want to do is pretty much if you're on Xbox is use LT. Tap LT and it's going to give you a good quick stop. If you're on PS4, just do L2. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing, but just different label pretty much. But yeah. It's going to be making you do way better quick stops. Now, are they as quick as last year? Not At this point, with me not being as used to it as I was last year, it's not as quick. But I was testing it, and you can get quicker and quicker with it if you just get the timing down and stuff like that. Because it's not going to make you, with this quick stop, it's not going to make you do, like, those off-the-dribble stuff from what I noticed. It's just going to make you do spot-ups. You can even do, like, little between the legs like snatch between the legs from the side you can do pull from the side just as long as you're not trying to do a hezzy with it this year it's gonna be if you try to do a hezzy with it it's gonna literally like glitch out and make you do like a pull up pretty much so yeah i would just tell you you want to use lt or l2 to try to do quick stop this year that's gonna be the way so if you want to get your shots off as quick as possible and be able to do like regular jump shots instead of like off the dribbles that's what you're going to do use lt or l2 all right, next, before we hop straight into, like, the jump shot, what jump shot I'm using, I want to go over this. They took out quick draw in the game, but what I did realize, they took out quick draw in the game, but when it comes to the release speed, they pretty much, that's what quick draw is now. I don't know if y'all remember, they would only have three different, like, release speeds when you came to a jump shot creator, but this year, they got five different speeds. So, pretty much, if you go all the way to the back, that's probably, that's pretty much like having no quick draw. If you go one up, that's like bronze. Then, if you go to the middle, that's going to be, like, silver quick draw. Then, you go up again, it's going to be, like, gold. And then you can get it to Hall of Fame. So I thought that was interesting. So if you guys have jump shots from last year that you really was able to be consistent with and stuff like that, that you really want to put into the game this year, jump shot 98 is pretty much the same. Jump shot 38 is pretty much the same. Like it's going to be just as quick and stuff like that. So if you guys like those jump shots, you can use those. Me personally, best jump shot in the game, best custom jump shot in the game to me that I've been using is Stephen Curry, Stephen Curry, and Larry Bird. Now the build I've been using, not even a shooting build, and I've been getting a little bit more used to the shooting a little bit so yeah this is the jump shot i've been rocking with right now but like i said if you guys have jump shots from last year go ahead and use those but at the same time i'm gonna give you guys a tip early in the year what you want to do is you want to find you a jump shot 
But the main thing is you don't want to be switching jump shots at the patch just because you think 2K patch it. You want to be consistent with your jump shot. The reason why people like Tyson are so good at shooting is because they've been using the same jump shot for so long. So if you use a jump shot for so long, it's just going to become muscle memory and making it that much easier for you to be able to shoot with that jump shot. So yeah, man, that's just another tip I can give you guys to be able to be just the best shooter possible. Now, another thing when it came to this game is the attributes. One more tip before we go ahead and end off this video is the attributes. I was testing it out with created players because you can't buy VC yet from what I was playing. Um, but yeah, I was testing it out from what I saw. If you have a 99 three-pointer, whites go in a crazy amount compared to everything else. 99 three-pointer, you get it. You make a lot of whites. It's that simple. Then when it came to 90 to like 95, you still make whites, but it's not at the same level. So I feel like they did it in tiers, like tiers of five. So like 96 to 99, that's pretty much like the same tier, except like 99 is just at a different level. Then when it came to 90 to 95, it was at a different level. Then it came, it's like five, tiers of five, pretty much. So 85 to 89 is going to be really good, but it's just not going to be as good as 90 to 95. Now, with that being said, what I will say. If you're going down with one of these builds that have a lower three-pointer, just be ready for it to be difficult for you to be able to like go six for six every game for three and stuff like that. Just know that's going to be difficult this year. Now, one thing I will say, I have been seeing a lot of people begging already for them to patch uh, the difficulty on shooting. So, especially for bigs, people have been complaining about that because big it's a lot of bigs that's not really able to shoot right now. So, especially with the jump shots, apparently they can't really shoot. So... I could see them pretty much making shooting easier. So if you feel like shooting is hard right now, like I was warning a lot of people that they probably going to make it easier to shoot eventually. So yeah, that's probably what's going to end up happening. But yeah, man, that's going to be pretty much the end of the video. In this video alone, I gave you guys the best custom jump shot. I went over the quick draws interpreted into 2k21 i went over a quick stop tutorial to help you guys be able to do the best and fastest quick stops possible gave you guys the best shooting badges gave you guys the best shooting tips all that so yeah man for that alone go ahead please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. subscribe if you are new we do this every single day we're going so crazy all nba 2k21 so you might as well hit that sub button turn on post notifications right now it's that simple but yeah man um, i'm gonna have another banger coming out tomorrow today is the first week of banger week so you already know what type of time we finna be on i'm gonna be giving you guys my builds for nba 2k21 i know y'all want to see that but yeah man it's your boy fitz man and i'm up to be man tell them to bring me my money yeah head in the clouds walk through the city they taking you out bitches be talking they running they bound a bag in the back and a stick in the car you know what it's about uh -huh. had to cope with all the pain so i'm about to die man uh -huh. they said he going too fast